Chapter 11, Cash Flow Estimation and Risk Analysis. The topics include estimating cash flows, relevant cash flows, and working capital treatment. Risk analysis include sensitivity analysis, scenario analysis, and simulation analysis. Real options. For example, we have the following proposed project data. After we have the data, we are going to conduct incremental cash flow for a project. The project's incremental cash flow is the corporate cash flow with the project minus the corporate cash flow without the project. We can see the steps to calculate the incremental cash flows from the textbook. Once we have the incremental cash flows, we can project net cash flow timeline as follows. Then we enter the cash flows in the CFLO register and put on the rate of return 10%. We can calculate the net present value and internal rate of return. What is the project's modified internal rate of return? We can use the Excel function MIRR to calculate the modified internal rate of return for the project. Also, we can calculate the profitability index using the present value of future cash flows divided by the initial cash flow. What does risk mean in capital budgeting? It means uncertainty about a project's future profitability. It's measured by the standard deviation of net present value and the standard deviation of internal rate of return and beta. Will taking on the project increase the firm's and the stockholder's risk? Is risk analysis based on the historical data or subjective judgment? Can sometimes use historical data, but generally cannot. So, risk analysis in capital budgeting is usually based on subjective judgment. What are three types of risk are relevant in capital budgeting? They are standalone risk, corporate risk, and market or beta risk. What is sensitivity analysis? It shows how changes in a variable such as unit sales affect net present value or internal rate of return. Each variable is fixed except one. Change this one variable to see the effect on net present value or internal rate of return. Answers what if questions. For example, what if sales decline by 30%? Why is sensitivity analysis useful? It gives some idea of a stand or long risk. It identifies dangerous variables. It gives some break even information. 
What is scenario analysis? It examines several possible situations, usually worst cases, most likely case, and the best case. It provides a range of possible outcomes. What is simulation analysis? It's a computerized version of a scenario analysis that uses continuous probability distributions. Computer selects values for each variable based on given probability distributions. What is a simulation analysis? Net present value and an internal rate of return are calculated. The process is repeated many times, 1,000 times or more. End result is a probability distribution of net present value and the internal rate of return based on sample of simulated values. Generally, it is shown graphically. What are the advantages of simulation analysis? It reflects the probability distribution of each input. It shows a range of net present values, the expect net present value, the standard deviation of net present value, and the coefficient of variation of net present value. It gives an intuitive graph of the risk situation. What are the disadvantages of simulation? Sensitivity, scenario, and simulation analysis do not provide a decision role. They do not indicate whether a project's expected return is sufficient to compensate for its risk. Sensitivity, scenario, and simulation analysis or ignore diversification. Thus, they measure only stand or long risk, which may not be the most relevant risk in capital budgeting. What is a real option? Real options exist when managers can influence the size and the risk of a project's cash flows by taking different actions during the project's life in response to changing market conditions. What are some types of real options? Investment timing options, growth options, expansion of existing product line, new products, new geographic markets, types of real options continued, abandonment options, contraction, temporary suspension, flexibility options,